Hey guys, I saw Bear here, and today I'll be doing a quick community highlight for the Foxhole Global HQ created by Castow and Mulan from the Foxhole community. I'll put the link in the description. But first, start off by going to the website, and then signing in either as a guest or using Steam, and then create a room or join a room. I've already created one, so I'm just going to enter the password. And here we are on the map screen. This is the live Foxhole map from the time I'm recording this. Everything is up to date. Town halls, towers, forts, whatever you can and want to see. As long as it's not directly enemy intel, it's there. Alright, so this map tool is not just pretty to look at, it's also great functionally. You can use some of the drawing tools to draw lines, maybe these are supply lines, your defensive lines perhaps, or lines of attacks and operations. Additionally, you can also right click on the map and select from a list of varied options. So let's just pick an example. Let me request a logi run. I'm going to select a bunch of wrenches for whatever reason, and I'm going to submit it. That way, me and anyone else in this room preferably my squad, or platoon that I'm working with, will be able to see this request. And, Prescor makes an appearance. A new supply order has been requested. That's right. Prescor will make an appearance for some of the selections on the map, and he will give you accurate, up-to-date info on the war going on. Breaking news. Warden forces have raised the blue banner on their former capital of abandoned ward. On the Logi Request panel, a single clip on the item is going to bring up the grey moving stripes, which means the item is either being cooked or on its way. Once the logistics personnel clicks on the box to the right of your production, those items he had on the list are going to turn green, which means they have been delivered. People will also be able to see on the grey boxes who is working on the items, and if there is a moving truck icon next to his status, that means he's moving them. Supply order completed. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen, there's a refinement slash factory filter. These can filter out which facilities on the map produce what. An easy shorthand, if you will. Additionally, selecting town halls, forts, or FOBs will show their decay and online areas, so you know how far a defensive line can extend from a certain point. You can even set an operation timer for when your operation is set to start at the top. Alright, another important one is the artillery calculator. So here's how it works. In the bottom right corner, select the type of artillery you have. It will display a radius on the map. That darker shaded area is the impact zone for the artillery. Just drag the gun onto wherever you are on the map and click on the outside of the black circle. It will give you the bearing and the distance for where you need to fire. A great tool for vets and new players alike. At the top you can see the different tabs. The next tab over is the squad or platoon creator. Here you can create different squads, set names, and set roles for each member of the squad. So here I'm going to set myself as a tank commander and as a rifleman on the combat team, because I can. The next tab over is the Material Refinement tab, so you can calculate exactly how much refined materials you'll get at refineries for salvage or sulfur or components or whatever raw materials you bring to it. It even shows on the map where the refineries are located. 
Next tab over from that is the order calculator, yet another perfect Logi tool. Forget how much things cost? Put them in here and it'll tell you exactly how much a certain order will cost. Let's throw some revolvers in. There's the cost for them. Let's tax on some rifle ammo on top of that. And here's the total cost for both of these items. It's great for planning out Logi runs, especially if you're just waiting for an order to complete and need to plan out your next move ahead of time. There's also the technology tree, although this still needs some work, but hey, it's there, even if you can access it from every town hall. And lastly is the status of the war. This tells you the number of combatants engaged, the number of town halls each faction has, forts, observation towers, refinery, number of casualties on each side, whatever you'd want to know, it's here. Another important feature is the settings tab. The biggest feature here is the Discord bot, because if you are logged in as anonymous, you cannot have access to this, but with Steam you can. Anyone can link the Discord bot to their channel, and what this bot can do is report on the info live for town halls and forts, operation clock countdowns, and the tech tree upgrades. So that's just a brief overview of probably one of the most advanced map tools we have for the game right now. If you want to know more, check it out for yourselves, and if you have questions, see their info page. I will also link that in the description. So plan out your logistics, map out your operations, and we'll see you on the battlefield. Bear out.